Hey guys, it's CodeZealot, and I'm back with another video on the execute command in Minecraft 1.13 Java Edition. Today, we're going to be looking at how we can test for an item in a player's inventory. And we're also going to look at how we can test for that item being in a specific inventory slot. That is to say, not just if the player has the item, but if the player has the item in a specific location in their inventory. So guys, stick around for the tutorial, and let's get started. Okay guys, so what I have laid out here for you are two command blocks. Now, what I want to say is that I'm using command blocks here in this tutorial because it's going to make things easier, but what you should do is you should do all of this through Minecraft functions. And if you don't know anything about functions or data packs, go ahead and check out my tutorial videos on how to make a data pack in Minecraft 1.13. More content coming soon related to loot tables, data packs, and all of that. Anyways, what I want to show you guys now is what is inside of these command blocks. The first one is what we're going to use to actually test for the item that we're looking for in the player's inventory. And the second one is just a command that says we found the item. Now, you could do this with one command. You could actually just get rid of this command block. And just as soon as you use the execute here, add the run at the end like this, and then type out your say command. But that would spam the chat quite a bit, and I want it to be a clean video. So we're just going to do it this way. So, first thing to do is to go ahead and check out how we start the command. Well, as we said earlier, this is an execute command tutorial, so we're using execute. And what we're going to do is we're going to execute as all players if the entity, which is the player we're targeting with this S target, has this information. Now, I know that sounds confusing, but it's really quite simple. Basically, what we're doing is we're saying, okay, Minecraft, we want to run a command, and the command we want to run is the execute command. Now, as you guys know, in 1.13, we now have these options right here that let us say who is going to run this command or where we're going to run this command from and all of these different options. What we're using is the as option. We're saying we want to execute a command as a particular entity. So the next thing we have to do is say, well, which entity is going to execute it? And we're saying that all players. So we're going to execute this for all players, and then we're going to use this if. Now what the if does is it says we only want to execute this if something is true. And so now we have to say, well, what, what conditions must be met? What things must be true for us to execute this as all players? Well, that's where all of this stuff comes in. So let's look at it really quick. Basically, what we're doing is we're going to execute as all players if the entity, which is the player who is executing the command themselves, has the NBT data or values that we prescribe here. Now, if you guys have been playing Minecraft for a while, you know that NBT is something that's used with items. It's something that uh, basically allows us to have different data associated with our items in Minecraft. And so here what we're saying is we're looking for something that is going to be in somebody's inventory and has the ID of Minecraft stone. Now, if this is true, if we find a player, remember we're looking for all players, if we find a player, an entity that has this information, has an inventory that has the Minecraft ID of stone within it, then we're going to say this is true. And when that happens, our comparator will turn on and it'll execute this command right here which is just a simple say command. So let's go ahead and test it out. Let's give ourselves some stone. And as soon as we do, we should notice that our command uh, works. Here we go. There we go. See the comparator right there. It turned on and it says item found in desired inventory slot. Now, if we throw this on the ground, you can see it turned off. And if we pick it back up, it turns back on and it re-executes this say command with the comparator. So this is how you can test for an item in a player's inventory. Now, just to show you that this is actually working, let's change it from stone. It's quite easy. We just take out stone and let's go ahead and make it sand. So now that we have sand, let's give ourselves some sand. And there you go. We have it turning on and off when we pick up the sand. Now, to show you guys that it's not just, uh, you know, noticing if I pick up a random item, I'm going to pick up the stone and check this out. It's not working because we're no longer looking for stone. We're no longer testing 
for whether or not a player has stone, we're testing for if they have sand. And you can see that that is functioning properly. Now, let's go ahead and look at one last thing before we wrap up this tutorial, which is what if you want to look for an item in a player's inventory, but only in a specific slot? That is to say, we have all of these different slots in Minecraft, and maybe you just want to know if a player has an item in a specific slot. Well, you can look up online. All of these are numbered. This one's zero, and this is one, two, three, going on all the way up here. And then it kind of picks back up right here and goes left to right all the way through here. And then these have their own numbers, like 100, 101, and the offhand slot is actually like negative 106. So anyways, I'm not going to let you guys uh, see those right now because I'm not going to type them all out. But what you can do is just Google it or, you know, DuckDuckGo, whatever you guys use for your search engine, find those numbers and then plug them in like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right into our command and right here on the left side of this curly bracket, right after we have the ID we're looking for with that quotation mark, we're going to put a comma and then we're going to type out slot, put a colon, and then type in the slot that we want. So we're going to test for our offhand, which is negative 106, and then we're going to put the B at the end of there and press enter. So now our command is looking for if we have sand in our inventory, but also if we have it inside of our offhand slot, which is negative 106B, this slot right here. So look, if I throw it down and pick it up, nothing happens because it's not in the appropriate slot. However, if I press F and put it into my offhand, you can see that it now turns on. Right here is slot negative 106B, and the item sand is there, so therefore, our command is executing, it's giving us the output here of true, which is activating that command block. So you can see I could flip it back and forth from my offhand and it would continuously activate and deactivate. So there you go guys, that's how you test for an item in a player's inventory in Minecraft 1.13 using the execute command. Now, I do wanna say before I close the video off here that if you look in here, you can see I have the MBT tag and if you guys have items that have additional MBT data, such as like a custom name and all of that, you can just plug it right in here and that would also allow you to test for whether or not your item is found with like a custom name or custom lore text or anything like that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, hit that like button. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so you can get all of the notifications when a new video comes out on this channel. Thanks guys and I'll see you in the next video.